12 pairs of tickets for that. You can use those one of those days to get you into one of the most exclusive autograph signings, fan fest that you'll ever be a part of. So many big names, big names. Tom Brady, Derek Jeter, the Mannings. Hell, I don't even know, but maybe Ray Gunn, the Australian breakdancer. No way. I mean, yeah, you never know. Come on. <laughs> Did you see the person she beat to get to the Olympics? No. It was fantastic. Looked like the old 80s, 90s breakdancer from New York City. I don't like that. Yeah. Side eye and this ray gun. Yeah, this ray gun. <laughs> is, is, is. Oh, you're too busy to go to Fanatics Fest this weekend? You're really going to miss out. But if that's the case, we got some other prizes you could possibly choose from. We've got more slots for Jim Moore Live. That will be right here in our studios, downtown Hartford, Thursday night, August 22nd, 6 to 7 for the live show. Stay late. There will be food and drink, and you can ask Coach whatever you want under the sun. He'd be so cool. He's going to answer questions even beyond the show. Even more than just football, but I'm sure he's going to get, who's playing quarterback? Stuff like that. Oh, you can't make it to that day either. You're so busy, but you want to stay in town and maybe go to a little L football this weekend over there at Trinity Health Stadium. Vegas comes to town, take on our boys in green. The Hartford Athletic got a home game. We got a family four-pack if you want that as well. So Fanatics Fest, Jim Moore Jr. Live, and Hartford Athletic. And how do we give it away today? The Kicker Quiz, 860-522-3776. 5223776 if you want to play the kicker quiz. Ooh, I love teaching you fellas about these kickers and where they come from and how they really are not true football players. Perhaps we may find one though today. <laughs> uh Dibs has got a clue about a kicker. You pick the right kicker and you win. 860-522-3776 522-3776 Boys are standing by the phone lines as we speak. Kurt, you got one? We're still waiting. We're still waiting. 860-522-3776. By the way, how in the world is Stephen A. Smith at the Javits Center with these people? What? Why? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tom Brady, Eli Manning, Peyton Manning, Jerry Rice, Roger Goodell, Michael Vick, Justin Tuck, Ray Lewis, and more. Right? There's Ray, Ray Lewis dozens, is going to be dozens. There. Oh, yeah. Got eight. Barry Sanders, Ryan Clark, Fred Taylor. Uh, Fred Taylor, Archie Manning, Fred Taylor Kevin Durant, Anthony down. Edwards, Jalen Brunson, Carmelo Anthony. I mean, I go on. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Stephen A. Smith. One of these things just doesn't belong no. here. One of these things just doesn't fit in. You guys are crazy, man. Winston-Salem State alums would be all over that. To see their By the way, Rhea Ripley's going to be there. Ooh, our fave from yeah. the WWE. How's that shoulder? Hulk Hogan, that Cody Rhodes. Oh, the American Ray Nightmare. Mysterio. 860-522-3776. The boys in the back say we have some contestants. Now, the kicker quiz. I know everybody's shaking in their boots right now. I won't move any kickers. Don't worry. We've got multiple choice multiple for you. Multiple choice. Do. Try make to make it easy, it easy on you. Try to make it easy here. Kurt, who's the first victim? We got Chris. Chris, what is up, Chris? I'm good. How are you guys? Doing well. Hopefully we can get you some tickets. Dibs has got a clue about a kicker. Wait for the multiple choice. You get the right kicker. You get some tickets. Are you ready, Chris? I am ready. Chris, this kicker's dad was a Cuban refugee who had a professional soccer career in Florida. He vomits on the spot when he sees how much his son is making in the NFL. <laughs> Not making that up. Ben wrote that. Um, a, True. Eddie Pinheiro. B, Cairo Santos. C, Blake Gruppe. Uh, I'm going to go with A. Uh, yeah. You are correct. That is the nice. Carolina Panther new kicker, Eddie Panero. <laughs> Chris, you are right. What would you like? Fanatics Fest? You want to go to Moore Junior Live or you want to go to the Hartford Athletic? Uh, I will go to Fanatics. All right, you're going to have a great on time. Hold. I do believe you will, man. Because you could get Roger Goodell's autograph. You get get Robert, Rob Manfred's autograph. <laughs> you're not getting their autograph. Are they there? Water. They're there. So they're there sitting at the I same would table just as like Adam to... Schefter and Stephen A. Smith. Like, for Manfred, there's, you know. Manfred, don't do anything with those stupid robot umps. Like, you got an opportunity to yell something Adam at Manfred. Adam Silver going to be. I, I would get Adam Silver because I think he looks like uh, Count Chocula. 
Adam Silver, start making them play hard in your league. Like, you don't have to get their autograph. You get the opportunity Ooh. to yell these things at them. Ooh. It's just as cool. So good luck for Chris. We got one more of those, too, by oh, the way, boys. Ben just Stiller. One more I, did, I mean, I like Ben Stiller, but if you, are, you got all these guys. You're going to you know, spend a lot of money to get these autographs. Ben Stiller? You going to Ben Stiller's table? Hell, yeah. I can sign my dodgeball. No, you're not. Sign my dodgeball. No, ball. you're not. There's so many more I can name on here you're going to see. 860-522-3776. I go hang out with Chris, man. Chris is already on his way. Who's next, Kurt? Fred's listening on the app. Hey, Fred. All right. How you doing, Fred? How you been? I'm good. Pretty good. It's been a hot summer. How are you guys? Doing well. It's definitely a hot summer. Top of those sharks at. down there yeah, in Florida. They haven't seen any sharks, have you? Munching on humans. Yeah, I did. I, I saw. I saw one. I uh, I stand on the sand. Wow. <laughs> I'd take Fred over the shark, though. I definitely have you in the oh, yeah. fight, Fred. Uh, Fred. Uh, as long as it's out of the water, and then I'm taking you. All right, pay attention here, yes. Fred. He's got a clue. That's Dibs. Dibs has got a clue about a kicker. Wait for the multiple choice. You get it right. You get some tickets. Are you ready, Fred? Yes, sir. All right, Fred, this kicker actually played football in New Jersey. He played defense in high school. He finished his career with six, count them, six interceptions. Wow. Is it A, Cairo Santos, B, Young Ho Koo, C, Evan McPherson? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just going to go C. Oh, Fred. Try back. Believe it or not, Young Ho Koo Young Ho. actually played defensive football in the state of New Jersey where he had six picks. Cuckoo ka -choo. Atlanta Falcons kicker, I have some new respect for you, sir. I did not know that until today. Yes, Young Ho Koo is your kicker of choice well, there. What if you found out Eddie played Pinheiro football. played uh, quarterback in, he in high school? He didn't. Or he found it out. and He didn't. He only kicked. You know why? He's a soccer player. And he okay. realized. So he played soccer. Yeah. Soccer's not easy. <laughs> but it's not football, Tibbs. No, it's not football. <laughs> but it is in Europe. Fred Dryback, 860-522-3776. The kicker quiz continues. Kurt, who you got next? John, line three. Hey, John. How you doing? Doing well. We got some kicker quiz for you. Possibly some tickets sure. if you get it right. Dibs has got a clue. Wait for the multiple choice. Are you ready, John? Yeah, I can do that. Johnny played soccer all through high school in South Carolina. His gr It was his grandma that convinced him to try out for kicker on the football team. Yes, he owes his entire football career to his grandma. Is it A, Tyler Bass, B, Evan McPherson, C, Cairo Santos? Is it Tyler Bass? Yeah, it oh certainly my, is. You are Grandma. correct, John. Yes. All right, Grandma. Tyler Bass, who I know him as the 2023 Scott Norwood up there in Buffalo. Wow. He missed a big kick. Be nice to him. They missed, Be nice to him. They missed nice a big kick. <laughs> no, I know. Hey, you know? His grandma I made a, a long play. time ago, and I missed a big kick, too. Oh. I, you know, whenever, whenever one of these guys push one wide right, I just smile and say, Next time, bud. Let me ask you this, John. Did you play any other positions other than kicker? Yes, absolutely. Of course you did. Yeah. You know why? Because you're a real football player. You got that right. <laughs> yeah. What would you like, you know, Sue? Wait, go you, ahead. You know, I, 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 I'm not donating my brain to science, but I might have to. You know? <laughs> what would nice. you like? You want Fanatics Fest, Jim Moore Live, or the Hartford Athletic? No, I'll go to the, uh, I'll go to the, uh, the European football game. All right. Excellent. Stay on hold, John. He's going to go see our friends at the Hartford Athletic. Nice. Destroy Vegas on Saturday. Uh, that will be a family four-pack for John. Uh, yes, Tyler Bass owes his entire football career to his grandma. He's been playing soccer in South Carolina. I think I, – I don't even know if the – I got a feeling, like, she's going to his games. And, like, yeah, this is great. Sitting on the sideline, watching you play soccer. And then she, on her phone, is watching them Gamecocks play on Saturday. And she don't care about the soccer game. She wants some football. Woo, woo, woo. from Dutch Fork, South Carolina. Mm, Dutch Fork. Great soccer program. Horrible football program. 
<laughs> he played for Georgia Southern, by the way. Tyler Bass, man. Better be making these kicks. This year. <laughs> Tyler, large mouth Short bass. leash. Short leash up there in Buffalo. All right, room for one more, Kurt. Who we got? We got Alex. Alex, thanks for waiting, my man. You're the last one to play. We've got quicker quiz for you. How you doing today, sir? I'm great, thanks. How are you guys? Doing Good. well. Dibs has got a clue about a kicker. Wait for the multiple choice. You get it right, you get some tickets. Are you ready, Alex? Yes, sir. Alex, this guy grew up playing soccer in Brazil, moved to St. Augustine, Florida in high school, and realized how easy kicking in, in football really is. He is ashamed to tell his Brazilian friends what he does for a living. Is it A, Evan McPherson, B, Cairo Santos, C, Blake Gruppe? I'm going to say B, Cairo Santos. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Correct. Alex, we're down to two tickets for you. Do you want the Fanatics Fest tickets or do you want to go to Jim Moore Live Jr.? Uh, I already have Jim Moore, so I'll do uh, the Fanatics. All right, excellent. We'll see him at both. Great job there, Alex. Cairo Santos was an option for every single one, and Alex knew that he was eventually going to be picked. Yes, he played soccer in Brazil his entire life and then moves to Florida where they care way more about high school football than they do high school soccer. And he wanted a girlfriend, so he joined the football team. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> the soccer players in Florida get plenty of girls. Of course they do. Of course they do. Alex is going to Fanatics Chicks Fest. loves soccer guys. Javits Center. Uh, Checking a dude out in his shorts anyway. Like, hey, that guy's got nice dude, are Hartford Athletic dudes... It's like Hottest a bunch of, bunch of models walking in to play soccer. It's like, God, these dudes. Yeah. And they're dressed up. They smell glorious. Like this, Have you smelled these guys, Kurt? No, I've not, not been that close. Dibs has smelled them. <laughs> there is not a Harvard Wait, athletic. Wait, Dibs has smelled them. Oh, yeah, you have. Remember when we they were do doing the show it. live over there? So these two gentlemen. But most pro athletes, like when they GQ come in players. or out of a stadium, smell pretty good. Not like soccer players. Soccer players, for some reason, they, they are out doing each other with the Italian shoes, the Italian cologne. Well, that's because they're from Europe and all over the world. It's it's different. And the thing I love about hockey players, they always dress to the nines. They always have suit and tie on, yeah, even in the minor the leagues. Players, the Very classy. I love the hockey guys. But now, yes, the hockey right players here. do not smell like the soccer players. But see, hockey players are not as pretty either. They True. have no teeth. They've got scars. They like so the stink. Chicks like the, the rougher hockey guys. But refined women, like yes. Ronaldo, oh, Messi, guys like that, because they know there's going to be a big paycheck behind them. Congratulations, Chris, John, Alex, for winning today. Speaking of smells, there was a story that got left in the cracks of the dibbles and bits, but we have to tell the well, masses, Dibs. Will Levis's new cologne, number eight. Oh, my gosh. From, <laughs> like mayo. from Tennessee. He has a thing for mayonnaise. Now, the story is he likes putting mayonnaise in his coffee, and that's how it kind of got that's started. Disgusting. It's a little bit like uh, Patrick Mahomes' obsession with ketchup. Um, but the, this one's mayonnaise. Oh, you yeah. think that's disgusting? Well, Hellman's is going to top you. They have made a scent. Signature scent. Signature scent of Will Levis. Yep. It's Will Levis number eight. $8, eight dollars number a eight. bottle. Ooh, to fit with his number on his jersey, I bet. And now, Good catch. not only yep. does it smell like mayo, it's a combination of mayo and coffee. I mean, listen, I love Hellman's. I love it, like, really you know, egg salad and whatever, but I'm how not did putting you discover it in my coffee. This? How did he discover this? He must have been out it. of, like, cream or something and been like, let me try this. It must this. have been a mistake. There's no... This uh, made with eggs. It could be an older thing. Like, Grandpa could have done it, and then, like, it's passed down through generation. Like, Grandpa put mayo in his coffee, and then Will Levis I'm Polish, it. and I got a lot of weird stuff, you know? Like, we let stuff ferment before but the, we make but it. But you've seen the commercials pretty well done. Yeah, the commercial is great. He's got his yeah. shirt off. His hair's blowing in the wind. It's like Fabio, but he's got, like, a little tip of his finger in some Hellman's mayo. It's just funny. Puts it on his tongue. Now hey, I listen, the flyover states, this is going to sell like crazy. 
Oh, yeah. They're well, going to love this this cologne. Now, Levis has Connecticut ties. Yes, he does. So the Nutmeg State should be all over it. Kentucky is where he played his college football, so obviously that's a winner. And then now he's in Tennessee. Like, yeah, right. he is owning the central part of America right now, especially in the, the Mayo Cologne department. But most people, most sensible people are going... What? Yeah, he went to middle. He went to Xavier High School in Middletown, Connecticut. You guys are missing it, man. Like this is just like uh, the cereals that I buy from Buffalo and from Boston when we have you know, Flutie Flakes Flutie and all the Flakes, other stuff. Uh, I know. Uh, Josh's Jacks. I think your family loves that. That's stuff. the thing. They're they're your crazy family. Bills fans. So if you have crazy Tennessee Titan nuts, dude, they've already bought a case of this. Did they get rid of their Stephon Diggs stuff? Oh yeah. Uh. That's the one w- weird thing that love was Stephon Diggs. just the paraphernalia yeah. that happens. You can't at a buy town. stuff and get rid of it, man. Just well, some of that stuff will be collector's items. Right. Like this is a collector's item buy. Thirty years from now, whether he's a Hall of Famer or he doesn't play after this, this will be a novelty item. It will be a conversation piece, and there will be a guy. Let's say a hundred years from now whose grandpa bought this and never took it out of the box. And then he's going to be on Antique Roadshow, and that sucker is going to be worth thousands. Maybe hundreds. He likes... Maybe five. <laughs> See, this is even more disgusting than the coffee with mayonnaise. He eats unpeeled bananas. That's going to be his next thing. Wait, 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 bananas. wait. This, this, this yellow... He he eats unpeeled no. bananas. No. I don't want the peel. This guy's insane. He's insane. No, he should be locked up. That's yeah. <laughs> Where does that start, Kurt? Like the mayo, I could see. You know, you're in by the, the kitchen. Way, and it falls in there. Where does like, I'm just by so the hungry. way. <laughs> okay, here's some more on Will Levis. By the way, father went to Cornell. He's smart, comes from a smart family. Is this gonna be like he already signed me? a lifetime supply contract with Hellman's mayonnaise? Good. He's already got that in the cupboard. So yes, <laughs> I this, like what you did there. Right. It does have that in the cupboard. So. Parfum de mayonnaise. Yeah, but the smells bananas, like mediocrity. The, like, why? I always thought you were going to tell me his dad's so smart that actually when you eat the oh, peel that, of the banana, it has so many God benefits. No. So many benefits. I would, I would choke on that. There's no way. I hate, like, like I break, when I, when I open mm. a banana, I'll break it off, you know, at the top to start it going. And I hate biting into the, the outside of it. Sounds like a challenge. Who in this room can eat the whole peel of the banana? Or how much? Who can First eat the all, most right, banana so, peel? I, mean, I was told this when I was working at Friendly's. Cut off both ends of the banana. Yeah. Because you don't want to eat the black parts. Right. Like poison. That's the way I was told. You and your poison. brother do not like. You guys would we not don't touch like bananas. The end, we don't like bananas. We don't like the end of butter. We don't like the ends of a lot of stuff. Right? Okay. Hot dogs. I don't like how they twist them at the end. I'll cut off the end of hot dogs. Bread. You have to twist them at the well, end. I do like certain breads. I do uh-huh. like like to make up. I'll take the ends of a, a fresh loaf of bread to make a peanut butter sandwich. But I'm not. Eat, I'm not biting into that. Would you eat the peel of an orange? Like I'll eat the outside of an apple, but that's rare. No. No. I don't no, even I like eat that. the outside of apple. I don't for really sure. like the skin of an apple. Now, I did find a trick for you, and I thought of you when I saw this trick because I, I know about your brother and you not liking We're any freaks. kind of brown on your bananas. No. Apparently, if you wrap the the bunch part. Well, that's a bruise. I don't, I'm not eating the bruise of the banana either. These that's won't poison. bruise. Like when you get them green, right, because you like them green. I do. You, you like them as like right off the tree. If you take them right off the tree, the little bunch, the little handle that holds it all together, mm-hmm. you wrap that with a little plastic wrap. Wrap that with foil. It it stays for like three weeks longer than normal. Really? You don't That's have good to, to know. Wrap anything else other than that bunch top okay. with foil, and it will stay. So See, there you go. Be... We're teaching people stuff all the right. time. We always lean, learn the weirdest things on this show. <laughs> That's why everybody should listen all the time. That cabbage three thing is crazy. <laughs> cabbage hats. <laughs> cabbage hats. I think we saved some lives with that. I'm telling you, we're trying to keep people cool. I could see people like on construction crews, you know, heavy and highway and stuff that it's 100 degrees outside. Throw that underneath your hard hat. Put some cabbage Save underneath your, life. your hard hat. Put some cabbage underneath yep. there. We're not joking. Get some cabbage in your pocket. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll come back. And uh, we did an earlier uh, interview with the former commander of the Connecticut State Police, good friend of mine, Steve Malikas. He, his real name is Stavros Malikas, his dad, John Stavros Malikas, played in the NFL. We will chat with him next on the Rob Dibble Show with Ben Darnell on your afternoon drive.